<laughs> okay. I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> yeah, we like to put everything mm -hmm. on this thing. But we lit, y'all. Are you getting used to Atlanta? I know we, that's kind of unofficial. We ain't even introduced ourselves and we live and we are, but I need to ask, are you getting used to Atlanta? You asking me, bro? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. We've been there for almost two years now. Like when yeah. I the first time I battled in Atlanta, I hated it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because um, you know what I mean? That was my one SK. We had one round and shit. And I'm not, you know what I mean, I'll be really, I'll be really saying shit, bro. Every line though, I, I don't like, I don't, I always try to reiterate that just because I'm, it's not a punchline that I'm rapping. That don't mean a nigga not saying nothing, man. And it kind of fucked me up because it, it just proves to me motherfuckers only be listening for punchlines, bro. Nah, but yeah, when I first battled in Atlanta, man, that shit, it was different. It was crazy. I had to get used to that shit, bro. But now, hell yeah, I'm used to it now for sure. Yeah, actually, it was a dope environment. I've been in Atlanta a few times, but never to RBE events. But I've been to plenty of events in Atlanta, so I feel like it was definitely a good vibe and good environment there. So Atlanta it loves is. its stars, so if you know, if y'all getting mm -hmm. comfortable in Atlanta, Atlanta will make you a star and keep showing Atlanta love. Mm -hmm. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Yeah, I fuck with Atlanta, man. But as far as <clears throat> battle rap, I don't know. We need to change the, the name of this shit to fucking battle performance, <laughs> battle reaction or something. Hey, man, that's part of it. I don't want that stuff to leave. Er, you I'm a great saying, performer, bro. Everybody say it's a part of it. I get that. But they only look for that though, so you can't. Everybody, you can't really keep saying it's a part of it because that's all motherfuckers look for. And you know why you feel like that? And I'm gonna be honest, I um, because I was. I, wait, hold on, wait, wait. Watching I your battle. Like hold on, let me say this. Let me get this off. Let me get this off. When you write, man, you got some sneaky wordplay, bro. Like you'll hide stuff in there. I'm like, oh shit, I ain't catch that. You got some sneaky wordplay. I don't know. I don't. I, I get it. I hear people when they say that, but I don't. I really don't know how it's so sneaky. Cause I say shit straight and direct. They was talking about my third round against this nigga. The nigga I just battled. I ain't saying his name, but the nigga I just battled. Like <laughs> they talking about. They talking about. They talking about the third round. They was talking about the third round, and they and they say it's so sneaky and all this type of shit. My first two bars was ATS a family. Not just anybody can be in this with us. You see the shit P rep? It's just me and six niggas. What is P rep together? What is that? That's spelled prep, right? Everybody, in, and if I say prep and six niggas, that don't, the situation don't click in people's head? How is that so sneaky though? Like that's creative right, okay. and it's right there. It's creative. Like, I, don't, I don't be understanding. But you feel it me? goes back to what we said earlier about the building. Like when you in the building, you may not catch that. Yo, there's so much going on. It's so much different people bumping into you. They step like so much going on. That's so why like, I don't give credit to that. the that's why I don't I don't give too much energy and credit to the in the building responses and reactions because of that. Yeah. Yeah, I can't really I listen say. to somebody that's that just was in the building on one watch and was like, yeah, you got 30. It's like, I can't listen to that. I, I feel that because it's been plenty of times I did watch the battle that I was actually live in and go back and watch the footage. And it's like, damn, I don't even remember him saying it. But of course you said exactly. it. I was there. <laughs> exactly. When Murder Mook battle, everybody be like, man, I got to watch this shit like two more times before I... But okay, niggas be niggas be in the building on me. Oh, you got thirty, nigga. It's whole like the goalpost moving be ridiculous. Yeah, you know I mean. But that's why I said I love footage, bro. Every time niggas be trying to pull this shit, when it's uh, like they don't want to accept that a nigga just lost. Oh, uh, Pang just got thirty. There ain't around all this shit, and the footage come out, or motherfuckers get to watching that VOD back. It's like, nah, man. I watched this shit three times. I ain't gonna cap. I got pain. Even more clear than what I thought the second time I watched it. Like this nigga had line after line after like nah, like it, it it's the same thing every time. They said Big Cannon beat me. They said Bricks beat me. They said Floss beat me. They said Bad News thirty me. They say this shit every time, bro. Soon as they start doing the recaps and the footage drop, 
whole different story. <laughs> Do you feel like that's that like that's become your thing? Like you're like an on camera type ballad. That's why is that why you mentioned I mean, the that, battle yeah, it's not, it's not, thing? That's what they want to, that's what they choosing to do. Cause niggas see how I how I perform. Niggas mm -hmm. watch pain versus bad news. They seen how I was in there performing all over that bitch, doing my thing. Like I do all this shit. Motherfuckers just choose to indulge in what they want to, man. So like, I mean, I'm not arguing with no motherfucking body, man. Shit. I feel that. Footage don't lie, nigga. Niggas lose every time. That's all I could say, man. I feel that though. I feel that. Cause it just it it do be a lot going on in the building. I will say I'll be honest, like me myself, look, like if some people know me, some people don't. I'm only five two. I could barely see. I made sure I was up front for the battle. So I wanted to see. I was trying. I was up there with you. With you. The, whole, the whole of I it. I don't there. think she saw one battle. I, 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 I had almost had to cut somebody out so I could stand behind show up in the battle. I'm like, bro, I done paid money and I cannot fucking see. I'm getting pissed on my ears was on like on radar because yeah. I, I mean that, that's really. that's it's like it made me think about with the situation. Like I said, I already talked about it on the other interview, but. Yeah, niggas really came in that bitch in the building when I battled dude this weekend and really tried to sabotage the nigga for real. Like, purposely, on purpose, came in the building and, like, literally called motherfuckers and was talking on the phone through my rounds and talking through my shit. And niggas right. was in the in the building saying what you said. Like, damn, I paid money to get in and listen to this shit. Why is y'all all talking around me? Like, I can't hear. Mm -hmm. and, and the person said at first, they was naive to it. Like, damn, maybe motherfuckers in here still on a high from coming outside. They still calming down or whatever. But they said shit in the middle of my second round and niggas was talking louder and purposely pulling their phones out and calling motherfuckers and talking and motherfucker like, oh, I, oh, can't, yes, hear I can't hear because y'all don't want me to hear. OK, I'll get it now. Like. Like, I'm really trying to sabotage this man rounds. When dude rapping, everybody completely silent and they double dutch reacting. Every line, they just ah, ah, ah. <laughs> but then when I'm rapping, everybody want to be on the phone talking. This nigga garbage, but it, on purpose, nigga. Hey, this That's people why on I his can't side. Listen to niggas talking about this in the building shit. Cause niggas. Hold on, Payne. Hold on, Payne. Uh, hold on, Payne. This people on his side. Yes, it was only three people behind me, bro. Profilini, show off, and Tato. That's it. Everybody else was on this nigga side, bro. They came in there intentionally, went above and beyond to sabotage me, bro. Facts, nigga. Y'all ain't know when we was in the face off while we was still sitting at the table. This nigga tweeted out that me and show off just tried to jump him, and the fucking uh, no, cameras so is rolling while I'm still yeah, seen, sitting I at the damn the table. I didn't that's see. I, we were still driving, like when the when, come on, when man. Alive, that's why niggas came in the building the side, next so day on some on on his side type shit. Cause he telling motherfuckers we didn't try to put hands on him, and he's saying all type of fake shit, and he been saying all type of fake shit during the build up to the battle. But the media, I know the media and the fans don't give a fuck about what's real. They not gonna be mm -hmm. like, damn, pain. What's mm -hmm. up? What the nigga saying though? He he on mm -hmm. some fake shit. What he said. They they just gonna go with what's entertaining, bro. Motherfuckers don't really care about what's real. real? They just gonna yeah. look at what's entertaining and laugh and retweet and talk shit like everybody else. So don't nobody give a fuck about the real. So you saying this happened in the middle of the see, we were still driving, we kind of got late. We got we got late. So we the weird caught, shit like, been the going ending on. of the face off. The um, weird shit been going on since ARP sent the contract off. Mm -hmm. That's why I blocked the nigga and I cut the nigga off because we had a rapport. The last words we spoke to each other was, damn, bro, I'm about to battle my nigga. I don't even know what to say to you, bro. Shit, me neither, pain, man. This shit crazy. I ain't never think I'll battle you. You my nigga. These was the last words we spoke to each other. A month later when ARP sent a contract out, out the blue, oh, this nigga pain ain't undefeated. This nigga be getting smoked. This nigga ain't no real crip. This nigga used to get bullied when he was, that's why he moved from Philly to, man, this nigga was hating on me when I got on back. All this shit out the blue, out of nowhere, when ARP sent the contract out. The last time we spoke, damn, bro, you my nigga, man. It's crazy we got a back. Weird shit, bro. This nigga don't know me. He never been nowhere with me. 
He never been to my city. He never don't know nothing about me. Pang used to get bullied. That's why he moved out of... Like, what the fuck is you talking about, clown? Fuck, man. So the weird shit been going on. So for a nigga to go up there and tell Hitman we tried to jump him, and I'm on camera still sitting in my fucking seat, that's weird shit. Why would you tell them Bruh, that? To have them even think that? You got the strongest arm in battle rap. I... That's how I feel about the nigga. I never seen a nigga hold the middle finger up that long. You got the strongest arm in battle rap, bro. <laughs> That's how I feel about the nigga, though, man. You know what I mean? And all that shit was unplanned. I didn't know what I was going to do in the face-off, but that's that, that's just real shit. First thing I said, in the, this this how, is this how you know the nigga weird. This nigga, 35, 36 years old, right? This how you know the nigga weird. The first thing I said in the face-off was, hey, I'm going to get this out early. This is the weirdest nigga I ever sat across from. And me being the type of nigga I am, I can't allow myself to talk to a scary-ass, lying, fake nigga like this. VenueGPS.com. The first words out his mouth was, I bet his shirt's small under that hoodie. Come on, man. Maybe, maybe you can't get ready. Funny. That's maybe hilarious. Maybe he thought it was funny, man. Maybe he thought it was funny. <laughs> Hey, but look, Payne don't like dude, so that's the end. I know. Yeah, I think that he say already, funny. Yeah, I think not, I don't. I don't know what's funny about a man talking about what another man wear for thirty days straight, and then go to the face off, and that's the first thing you talk about again. That's not funny to me. That's weird. That's weird. Like every time he somebody talk to him about me, he like, man, his shirts be small. His clothes. Look at his clothes. His sh like, nigga, do you have a preference or something? I mean, how should I dress? How should I dress to you then, nigga? Why do you, how why are you talking about how another man look? That's not funny to me. That's weird. Hey. But I understand <laughs> from a fan point. I get it. And and, and I'm not saying I'm not saying like the nigga mentioned it on some battle shit. Like, oh, look how this nigga just nigga can't fuck with me. This, this nigga talk about this shit every day, all the time, a month straight. That's not that's weird. That's yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and watch. I'm gonna have to watch that face off because I definitely missed it. I didn't go back and watch. That's it. weird to me, it. man. And while y'all let it, rarebreednt.com. Go cap, go cop that video on demand. Rarebreed. So What's wrong with this nigga? This nigga got this nigga got cop the VOD. Fun. The nigga got blonde dye in his dreads, and he had on some fucking lavender sweatpants with his ankles out, and he talking about how somebody's shirt look. Like, come on, bro. You got long hair and you got long hair. Hey, book. When you see the foot, uh, the nigga, face off, yo, and you see you got long hair with you got long blonde hair with titties. Where did you go back and you got and some purple sweatpants with your ankles oh, out? That's it like two days ago. And then on top of all that, you talking about how another man look. Look at put all that together and shake it up. Y'all say y'all say it's funny. But look, look at this. Listen, listen. This is a grown man with blonde hair, titties as a man, with some purple sweatpants and his ankles out. And all he talking about is how another man is dressed. Put that in a box and shake it up. That's not funny to me. That's weird. <laughs> hey, them lavender pants is real, yo. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, you got this nigga had on some lavender sweatpants, and you can see his lavender ankles, man. Sweatpants. Come on, man. Shout out to Coach, though, because um, he was fired. <laughs> he, he did what he was supposed to do. He he's a puncher, and he came and he punched. And he yeah, he rounded great up punches. his people, and they came in there, and they held their plan down. He did do what he supposed to do. Hey, y'all, don't react to his shit. Make sure y'all, make sure y'all, hey, when we go in there, y'all, hey, yeah, he did exactly what he supposed to do. Scary nigga. I, I got these niggas scared to death, nigga. So he was playing dirty. You telling me coach is playing dirty. I, hey, this he, shit he, didn't get. He didn't want the raps to stand on their own. This shit, this motherfucker's not going out their way to tell me this shit. I don't even know these people. Come on, man. This is already what I knew was going on, but I know people not going to listen to me. Because I'm the one battling them. Y'all going to think I'm trying to make it look away for the bat? No. So I ain't even like, say shit. Say shit. Yeah, I don't know these people, but, bro. 
I will say that's how you you did. That's how you're supposed to do it, pain. Though. That's how you're supposed to do it. Yeah, the show must go on in any type of performance. You keep going. You go through that. I'm definitely gonna private. speak on it, but I, I, yeah. I, I ain't gonna make a big deal but about I'm glad, it. I'm glad you didn't own. say anything like during the battle. It's pointless. Then like just. Get your shit off. I'm, yeah, I'm speaking on it because shit. If we was in the Olympics, mm -hmm. I said this a million times. If we was in the Olympics, nigga, niggas would be fi fined and fired. Oh, mm -hmm. you bring them motherfuckers in to do all oh, you doing all this. Oh, uh uh. Nigga, this supposed to be a fair fight with words. You out of here. Mm -hmm. You supposed to go rap. If we was in a profession, like he'd be out of here. But you know, we ain't got no rules in this shit, man. Yeah, and that's the thing. I've seen that plenty, at plenty of battles. I mean, granted, you don't expect it on a big stage like that because you expect people to be more professional. So I do get that. I mean, I, I do. I personally expect people to be more professional on a, on a big platform like that. But it happens all the time. But, but listen, though, I, I you know why I don't even blame the nigga? Because he's smart. He know ain't nobody going to say nothing or hold the nigga accountable for doing that. Nobody's going to do nothing. So it's really going to look like I'm just bitching for real, complaining. And I want something to happen. Niggas don't get held accountable for shit in battle rap. That's why niggas will call ARP and ask ARP, can we cut a minute off every... Now, I ain't talking about him. I'm talking about another nigga, though. But yeah, this is why niggas will call ARP and ask him to cut a minute off every round. Because they ain't got enough time to prepare, so-called. And then overwrite the contracted time. Nothing, that, nothing gonna happen. That's why niggas do shit like this. Y'all don't be, y'all think niggas just come in there and rap and, oh, he was better. He got smoked. Like, no. These niggas be scared as fuck doing all kind of weird shit behind the scenes to win a battle. And they know ain't nobody going to say nothing. Ain't nobody going to stop fucking with them. Ain't nobody going to call them out or do shit. That's why they do this shit, man. And look at me up here playing fair. I don't get no points for that. So let me start doing some fuck shit. I bet motherfuckers call me out. Damn, y'all heard about pain? Yeah, we going live tonight, 10.30. We just lit. I'm going to tell y'all what Payne did. <laughs> hey, I will tell you what Payne did. Let me tell you what Payne did. Hey, man, you was rapping, bro. You were fire. I appreciate you. I paid my money to get in that event, and, and, and you delivered. Right. On some of the recaps, my nigga, they said, man, Payne's second round was one of the best rounds of the night. Y'all niggas was in there trying to play with pain. They got listened to him. They broke my shit down bar for bar. Every I round. seen that link you put up too. Oh, Every uh, round. What's my guy's name? Let me give him a shout out while I'm thinking about it. Why would anybody I say I too. won? Listen, why would anybody say I won if I got 30? Why everybody not saying like, yeah, you got it. Yeah. Come on, man. You know these niggas not going to admit they lost. I, I fuck with bro because he broke this shit down bar for bar every round. And by the time he got to the second round, he like, I ain't going to lie. I don't know what y'all niggas on. I got paying 2-0 going into the third. Y'all wilding. Come on, man. He don't, yeah, he don't got no, like he don't got no do. dog in the fight, man. That's one person, but he don't got no dog in the fight. See, I didn't have the, the advantage of the analogy to, to cop the VOD. I will say in the building, I, I did, I did edge it to coach i did get him the first and the third but the third was when, all right let me ask you i this. was distracted during the third and like again, why did I you did all right look why did you why did you give him the rounds because they was reacting to his bars no i think the i think his first round he won he was punching pain i think his first he round he won oh, that niggas punched but Come on, second, man, shit, I, but I, the second round, I feel like you won clear. So it's just like I like right. it boiled down to the third round. And that's why I would I need to go back and watch it. I get I it. I know, I know, it. I know my IQ and the shit that I fuck with is just different from everybody else, man. When a nigga start his first round off, like I got a futuristic gun. Like I can't <laughs> get with that type. Go ahead and rap now. Cause like, come on, I'm a different type of nigga, bro. I talk about this shit for real. Y'all niggas up here just creating lines. Like, I can't get jiggy with that type shit, but that's just me. I never argue nobody opinion or nothing, man. Mm. No, I hey, I put, I put the link in the comments for anybody who's curious. As the guy's name is Him Carry. Um, he broke down the Coleon and Payne battle with lines and bars. He did a great job of doing it. So check that link out. It was and we was his first episode he, he that he ever did too. So shout out to that's him for sure. that too. That's what's up. And somebody else did one too. They had me winning. I don't even know his name. I got to figure out where that clip came from. But yeah, another nigga that I don't... Winning. 
Huh? A lot of people gonna have you winning. Yeah. A lot of people gonna have him winning. Yeah. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I've heard like at this point, I feel like I like just glancing online, I feel like I seen just the equal amount for both of y'all on that battle. So like that's what I said, I didn't have the luxury of watching. I wanna really I wanna go back and watch a lot of battles because like I said, my I would I could only hear when it came to certain battles. I, I couldn't see. And I feel like it would you know it's like even though you don't have to see to hear, it's just like you just you know what I'm saying to imagine it or seeing somebody lips move made it it would have yeah. brought more attention if I could have saw it, you know what I'm saying? I, I know, get it. I need, I get y'all need, they need a platform or something up in, in the blue room. It ain't right, got to right, be a right, stage, right, right. but something I so mean, where everybody can see. You can wear platform shoes to the event. Uh, you can wear platform shoes And stand today. up for eight I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm or, right or now, like me going people. through my uh journey in this shit, man. I need to be able to see. I'm really just learning to, like, because I actually do this rap shit. So I know my shit. My battle rap IQ, I guess, is way way higher than like the average fan on listening and how bars is. I know fans really just coming in there to just hear some shit, bro. And I'm still having to learn that because, like you said, like man, he was in there punching pain. I know he was, but you know who punch lines make me jump out my seat? Rum Nitty, Av and Fines. He don't punch like them at all. No, to me. yeah. I, so I just because he punching. It's like, okay, it's a punchline. Nigga, all right, that's how I'm hearing it. Everybody just hear the punch, like, oh, shit. That was one punch. Oh, that was another punch. He punching. Oh, okay. shit. He, okay, he, look. He three he, punches. It's like, all right. I'm so listening to you, what he's saying. Like, nigga, all right, you. it's a, it's a, it's it's technically a punchline, okay. But, is mm. nigga, is it hitting? Is it one of them? These niggas don't be hitting like that to me. Okay, so, so since, that's you how say I that, you since you say that, then go back on that. Do you feel like it's more that it, it will become more of a preference type battle? Like people just some people just like punchlines. Of course, of course, of course. If 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 niggas want to just hear a nigga say punchlines, more power to cubs. But if you want to you want to hear battle rap, you want to hear a nigga get broke down, real life shit. When a nigga said his kickback was crazy, so he had to get his palm behind it like this to stop the kickback, he actually said that. So when I broke that down, if you want to hear battle rap and a nigga get broke down and punchlines and all everything makes sense, it's together, it's crafted. If you want to hear battle rap, then a nigga going to fuck with me. If you want to hear a nigga just come say random punchlines, of course you're going to pick him. So yeah, if, if it come down to that, it's going to be preference. You want to hear battle rap, you're going to pick pain. If you want to hear a nigga just say lines, of course you're going to pick him. That's how I see it on my eyes. You feel me? I, I like your breakdown. I like your breakdown. Mm-hmm. All right, and look, Boog, no. I like punchline, guys. I, I feel like it's a... I punch, look, this is the thing about it. It's a simple craft. It's effective. Yeah, you do, it's but, so but it's, listen, the, that's it's the easiest thing a writer can do. Is it's, it's the craft of punchline. You're right, you're it, right. So why do they get so much credit for it then? Because that's what the people like. Right? That's my point. That's what I would get back to. I love to have if coach a nigga, on the show and ask him about his style. If but a nigga, listen, listen. Rum Nitty is one of the niggas that separated the, it's just punchlines. Rum Nitty really like, nigga, I'm a puncher, nigga. So if a nigga not punching at that level, What's so great to people? It's lazy writing. It's the I, easiest thing to write. And if you're not at horrible. this level with it, why are people so amazed? The That's what I'm saying. The non-rappers like to hear it a lot. I don't say all non-rappers, but a lot like, of the non That's what I'm fans. saying. I have to. Right, you right. That's what I said. I'm having to start Jesus. understanding that everybody not thinking like me. So a nigga might say some shit that I can think of in two seconds. And I would be like, I'm not saying this because I thought of it in two seconds. It's too easy. I'm going to make it creative. That's how I think. These yeah, niggas yeah. think of it and put it down. First thing they think, it's going straight down. And they get the same react. Like, it's it's crazy to me. But I see how battle rap works, though. I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm learning what the people like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. all right, y'all like. This no offense to y'all, but this how this what I say to myself in my head. All right, mm-hmm. y'all like the nut shit. Y'all like the little fuck shit. Okay, I gotta start throwing some fuck shit in my shit then, cause it's too easy to me to think of the shit that they say. 
Um, I heard he was undefeated, so all it takes is one L to make this nigga plain. Like, that's too easy to me. My name is Payne. If you put an L, man, it says still Payne. taking like, shots at bad too dude. Easy. Man, I tell I'm, you, man. That's the first what thing. You pay up. You pay up. It's the first thing <laughs> I think of. That's what, this is this is my thought process, though. That line, it was great to people, but I would never say that because it's I, too simple. It's too easy. Anybody could say that. I, it's too. I would make it more creative. But people like this low hanging fruit, easy shit. <laughs> So, I mean, I, I don't, but if I start rapping like that, you know what motherfuckers gonna do? Come on, pain. Fuck what the people talk about, nigga. You gotta stick to your guns. You gotta do what you do, nigga. You gotta be. And Might I, as well I, stay there anyway. Hey, I'm kind of like that too, because I, I show up. I done had the same conversation with him about, like, <laughs> I forgot what better it was. But I said, don't change your shit. Cause, like, I, I, cause I get that, like, it's like you when you build your you fan know what battle it was. Of, of, what's the point no, of what's the point of, change, what's the point of not changing? What's the point of not changing it Overrides. if we don't get no we don't get no respect no, or reactions for this shit? It's like we spitting this real shit, putting it together, crafting it, and it's like man, you pain, build, like, but if you build, it, your it's too much to think about in the base. building, bro. It's like damn. So all right, if I start doing what everybody else do, niggas will tell me to stay original. When I am original, it's like, man, it's too much to think about, bro. Like, we like simple shit. So, bro, we be, we I, be fucked up in the head sometimes. Hey, like, look, so so this is a good time right here. This is a good good time right here. I'm going to give you a little um a little tidbit Y'all from, share the live, from the share event. The live. Give us some likes um, and shares. Something that you may not know. Um, So we get to the event, and we watch a couple battles, and we into it. A couple battles is fire. Uh, we take a break. We go outside. Everybody's outside. We ready for the break too. We ready to see people who ain't we ain't seen yet because it's a lot of people showing up. Um, it's some stars done showed up and popped up. We getting our drinks. The food truck is out there. We ready to just be a part of the the festivities now. Right before your battle, ARP comes outside, and I'm guessing that he's ready to get things rolling because he got a lot to do tonight. That night. Um, so he lets us know, hey, y'all better get back in here. We're doing battles. Mm -hmm. Payne versus Coleon is up next. <laughs> get back in here. And so we already in the mode to relax for a little bit. You know, get our smoke break, got our drink. And so we come back in, and now it's like you, you got to reheat again. You got to heat the room all the way back up again. And why coach, why the punching work, works for coach is because it's simple, and when we come back off that break, it's easy for us to get into. Oh, it I felt like you was it felt like you was struggling to win the crowd in the first round, and you was dropping bombs, bombs. Yeah. And I think that has something to do with it, just because we had to reheat again, and that's so, yeah, why once I'm, you I'm got a, into I'm your second, this right. you was I don't on fire. know how loud this. I don't know how loud this fucking um. My bad, y'all. This shit loud as hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how loud that was to y'all. It's yeah. loud over here, but like I'm this is what I'm about to say about that. I'm I'm kind of glad you said that, bro. I'm gonna keep it up all the way of being, man. If niggas come to a battle that I'm a part of and they come in for simple, easy shit, then I'm gonna always lose. I'm putting that out here right now. Cause I'm not no simple, easy nigga at all. So, like, if niggas just come in on some drinking and smoking and they want to just hear some simple, easy, just to, like, nah, I'm going to lose every time. If that's what niggas is looking for, give me the L now for every every time y'all see my name, throw the L on it. If that's what but, niggas is looking for. Well, well don't, don't take it like that because I don't mean it like that. I just mean we, we, we need to get right back into it. You know, we need to. It ain't, yeah, but we bro, need to be they, they, they back into it. They say the same thing every battle, bro. So I mean, it ain't. I'm not really just pointing out from that. You know what I mean, that's just okay. another example for real. But like niggas act like I'm up there rapping like B dot or like Lux or something. It's like <laughs> man, it's, it be like nigga, what the fuck? Like how much more simple can I say the shit? Like y'all acting I mean, like I'm up here saying astrological. That like I'm nigga, I'm rapping regular, straight to the point shit. And niggas act like I'm just saying the most crazy, hard to understand shit ever. 
I, that's what I don't be understanding. I told this nigga, look, this is what I'm about to say, why my punchlines is different. This is how I punch. I told the nigga, you will catch every shot in your own whip. He from the Windy City. So when he sped off with bullet holes in his car doors, he got homesick. Fire. Fire. That's how I punch. Fire. Can you imagine a nigga driving out a shootout with all his windows up, but the whole car windy as fuck? Because there's <laughs> bullet holes in the... What? Yeah. That's how I... That, that's me. That's the type of feel I got. I don't start my raps off talking about, I got a futuristic gun. No, that's not me. I rap shit that niggas going to feel like, God damn, I can't imagine that. This nigga pain crazy. Like that, I'm, I'm from the block, bro. I don't just be outside and see like a car park with a date in the front and be like, man, an automobile with like, and start like creating a bar. Just nigga, I rap real shit, bro. I don't just see shit and just start creating lines. I really do this shit, bro. So if niggas is looking for that type of shit, I'm going to always lose. I'm a different nigga, gang. But it seems to me pain always win, though. Pain still undefeated, right? Like, we, like... Man, watch when this battle drop. Hey. Man, niggas going to be like, man, I, I, hey, I watched it again. I ain't going to lie. When I was in the building, bro, I was doing this and da, 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 But I was at the crib and I just, nah, y'all bugging. That's exactly what's going to happen. He, man, niggas, niggas know what they did in the building. Niggas know they tried to sabotage me. Niggas know they went above and beyond to try to sabotage me and that bitch. Niggas know it wasn't a fair shake. Niggas know that. It's fans complaining I was in the building about this shit, bro. It's people that was watching the live stream that I didn't talk to on the phone ever was hitting me up like, man, Payne, why it seemed like the crowd against you? Why it seemed like the building against you? That shit seemed weird watching like, why they not reacting? What they own? I never seen them do this. Like, what's up? So I know, like, come on, bro. When that shit drop, niggas know what's going on, man. And them battles dropping fast, too. Watch. Hey, you want to see it right now? Redbreedent.com. Go get the VOD. It's out now. Go get the VOD. Yeah, you can see it right now. You ain't got to wait. Go see it. Them yeah, niggas can't fuck enjoy. with me, man. He, uh, he, he, took another, he took another one of the L's like the last six niggas, bro. Nothing different. Talk I don't shit. leave out the building feeling no different from being in front of these niggas, man. Niggas, like, for real, bro. Niggas cannot rap with me. If you ask me, that's why I was on the other live and I said I beat Bad News ass. Dude was like, oh, hold on, man, hold on. He did good, too. I didn't say he didn't do good. But, I'm yeah, talking yeah. about my opinion out my eyes. I was listening to his raps. Nowhere near nothing I said and no rounds to me. I was listening. It's nursery rhyme shit to me. I, it's <laughs> low hanging fruit, easy ass first thought shit. No, so, so, nigga. So you do this for me, me. I beat his ass. Do this for me. Compare coach to bad news. I, I feel like bad news is more of a threat because you but he know how to convict his bars better and you will believe him he deliver it it's 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 just just that to me because like coach don't do nothing rap wise to me to make him stand out from bad news like you could say bad news should be simple but he perform it good all right nigga all you do is random lines so what you do it's like it's the same thing basically but bad news convict that shit way better. You'll believe him. So I feel like he'll win. Like, coach, this nigga don't do shit to me. It's just random lines, bro. They don't connect or nothing. It's just four bars. It's a punch. And then it's another random punch that ain't got shit. To, then it's another punch. It's just like, bro, that shit is just easy, bro. I'll be done with my rounds in two days. Three rounds, three minutes, two days if I did that. Just sitting around, just throwing lines together. All right. Let me think of another one. All right, bet. This a punch. Um, all right, bet. Here go another. Like, come on. I don't, nah, nah. I really do this shit. So, yeah, I feel like bad news would be more of a threat, man. Bad and, and bad news can remember his shit faster. Bad news don't got to use a cell phone and keep reading this shit. Like, that's how I do, too. Like, it's other little shit that separate niggas from each other, too. Like, the nigga coach 
barely remember his shit. He need to, he got to type his shit in the phone first, then go back over and try to remember. His process will eliminate him from a nigga like me. I don't write. I don't write down. I don't write in the phone, no nothing. Everything you hear me rap is straight in my head. I don't write shit. Sheesh. Sheesh. So did Payne get to enjoy the enjoy the event? Did you get to see yeah, the battles? Anything yeah, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't know the situation. Um, of niggas that came in there trying to do what they did. I ain't know that that day. So hell yeah, I was enjoying myself, bro. Mm -hmm. I did cranny interviews outside. I got mad bookings after my battle. They mm -hmm. hit me from Alaska, nigga. I'm about to battle mm -hmm. in Alaska. You know what I mean, shit. They hit me from Philly was in the building. Niggas whoa, 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 wait, wait. You man, you ain't finna breathe. Alaska? It's a fact. They got battle leagues in Alaska, bro. Y'all about to see. Pain about to put Alaska on. <laughs> working, we working. Shout out to working. all the battle rap fans in Alaska. Salute. Yeah. We working, Why is that? We working, it's a whole working, other man. state, though, now that you think it shit going on out there. It's, it's crazy. Going on. Nah, it's crazy. Like, that's, that's what that's what come that's what come from from what I did though you know what I'm saying bookings you feel me um relationships and like of uh, motherfuckers I've been to who they was but they was there in person oh my nigga Payne you feel me all that type of shit bro Philly Alaska nigga Indiana hit me up motherfucking California nigga so that shit just turned into straight bookings for me man and these niggas don't market or promote better than me. So, I mean, they don't sell more tickets than me. That's a fact, nigga. I'm the, I'm, I'm the number one draw out the new niggas. You know what I mean? I'm going to just keep it a thousand, nigga. We appreciate you you being here tonight because you you are everywhere. Yeah. Every no, podcast here, bro. and you got a show. Matter of fact, if you watch it now, and you hit pain up. He promo. <laughs> yeah. He promo. I'm just on some different shit now, too. I don't give a fuck how niggas feel. Like, if niggas feel how they feel, feel how you feel. Scream at me when y'all see me or something. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck about how nobody feel. We in battle rap. I'm I'm, I'm the one rapping, nigga. If we ain't battle jet, then I'm looking at you as a battle rap. I, so I don't care how nobody feel. Everybody that I fuck with in real life, they know what's going on. But everybody else, I don't give a fuck. I feel like I'm the number one brick. I feel like I'm the top draw out of the bricks. I feel like I'm the number one ticket seller out the bricks. I feel like uh, I'm the most. I'm, I feel like I'm the most exciting brick. I feel uh, like I'm the I'm the first brick to crack a hundred thousand views. Uh, That's how I feel. You know what I mean? I feel like I got the highest view face offs every single time out the bricks. That's how I feel. Me and Bad News face off got eighteen thousand. I mean eleven thousand. Me and Big Cannon face off got eighteen thousand. Me and and this nigga that I just uh battled this weekend, that shit got thirty thousand right now. Niggas battles ain't even got ten and twenty thousand. My face offs hitting thirty, nigga. I feel like I'm the highest view, highest paid, most exciting, biggest draw, number one fucking brick in the process, nigga. That's how I feel. Boy, you talking heavy? You earned it. Talk your shit, man. Yeah, that's just how I feel, I feel though. It. I mean, everybody got a everybody got an opinion, right? That's just how I feel. Numbers don't lie though. My, the numbers ain't an opinion. Y'all can go look up them face-offs and you look up them battles, nigga. Highest yeah, view. I'm gonna go back and watch everything. I'll definitely be happy. Face-off is amazing. But I had I had I had an amazing time at the event. I enjoyed the entire event. I'm glad y'all popped out too, man. Real quick. Yeah, that was my first RBE mm -hmm. event. So I had to, I had to come. I've been trying to make it out there for a minute. Second one in ten days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we had the <laughs> we had the intake. With the EA. Somebody just tweeted me on Twitter right now, nigga, and just said, "Pain, this show season. You was the talk today at my job, mm -hmm. and it, it's a corporate workspace at that. Literally twenty four seconds ago, somebody just tweeted me that. So I'm talking about." I always win the battle, nigga, the war, nigga, everything. If you ask me, what I see out my eyes and my reality, yeah, I always Pain is win never that. gonna lose. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. Hey, but I tell you, look, what's my never. what's my say, what's my saying all the time? There are battle rap fans, and they were fans of battle rap, man. You got those, it's fans of battle rap that dibble and dabble into battle rap and watch it when the homie watch it. Or when shit drop on YouTube, they watch it, but they don't be in the in the know. 
Like mm-hmm. we do, we in the culture, right, we know right, what's right. going on, what battles we probably seen this battle over here, this battle over there. Yeah, like we that's around. Why, yeah, that's why uh bars, like I said earlier, uh the shit P rep is just me and C. that's that's for the battle rap niggas like us that know the prep situation. I wouldn't expect nobody that's just dabbling in to get that. You see what I'm saying? But I know the niggas that know will be like, hold on, that was kind of that was sneaky, that was kind of fired. Are you hurting? I like how he put that together. I feel like I'm the setup king, bro. I feel like I, I put this shit together the best. That's how I feel, bro. Because shit like that, one-liners real quick, man. I like the way you said that. That's a lot better way than what I said. I, I say you hide wordplay. You got crazy setups. You do. Setups. I, I feel like I'm a setup guy. Nigga, I just put this shit together crazy. That's how I feel. I feel like I'm real creative and witty with that shit, bro. It's like niggas don't think to, they wouldn't think to put this bar together like how I'm about to say it. That's how I be feeling when I be creating my shit. But yeah, though, man, Divide and Conquer 2, you already know, Pain, Burst, RBE, go subscribe, man. I'm seven <laughs> battles in on RBE, you feel me? The seventh battle about to drop. Y'all know how I'm rocking, bro. I ain't never got a fraud. I never got a lie. I ain't got to hype nothing up to make y'all believe or think shit. I keep it a bean, man. These niggas cannot fuck with me, bro. The proof hey, is in the fucking footage. Fuck the footage. The proof is in the footage. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah. yeah. We need some recaps. Yeah, we can't need it. Pain, Pain is a, a writer and a performer. We need to know what he thought about other writers and performers that mm-hmm. were there that night. Um, did you see all wait, did you did you get a chance to see all the battles? I didn't see all of them because you know after after we battle, motherfucker be grabbing us all outside. Yeah, yeah, you know right. what I mean? So we be having to, you know what I mean? But I seen um I seen uh Rosenberg and Clips. I was right there for show off and trash. Mm-hmm. Um, I was I was behind you to show off and trash. I was yeah. trying to get up so I could. See. <laughs> and and so you you heard how they was shooting how you heard how Trez was shooting yeah. that day that day. Hey, he yeah. said it was like it was like the third time, and you were just like, oh yeah, hey, that, that, that shit was funny as hell. <laughs> Let him turn it into the house of pain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like damn, how many times you gonna say my fucking yeah. name? Like, right. right. So I seen um I seen Frozen clips. I seen Trez and Show Off. I seen Tato and Lady J. I seen Profilini and K Venom. Um, I seen a little bit of Slash and the nigga Snipe. Um, all right, well, we're gonna let's 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 get into something juicy then. Did, did you see the Lady J titty? I mean, okay, <laughs> forget that. Hey, hey look, scratch look, that. Hey, scratch that. Look. Scratch that. <laughs> wait, wait. I this was, was cra- this was crazy about that, right? I was standing right, literally there, up the front row seat. And I didn't see her do that live, bro. I, I didn't even know she did that shit. Because you was probably Real saying, shit. you was probably doing the same thing I was doing. What I could barely already see. And then I was what you know, you looking at the person. It wasn't like she was rapping. Tato was yeah. rapping. So I'm looking at her. I wasn't even right, looking. right. Yeah, I didn't like, oh, see that shit that. live. I didn't see it. I found out Uncle Ra by Uncle Ra. Some dude it was on 15 Ra. minutes of fame. I saw it at the bar. I was like, she pulled a titty out. When is that? I know, I know it made. Avocado uncomfortable because look, when she did it, I seen the camera jerk to the side a little bit, like, and then he brought that motherfucker back in focus. I'm like, oh yeah, that just that just caught Avo off guard like a motherfucker. Uh, Avo said, oh, oh my goodness, black titty. <laughs> oh. Oh. He know, he know what to do. Not a black titty. He know what to do. That motherfucking camera <laughs> jerked to the right a little bit. I'm like, oh shit. I guess she felt like back. I guess she felt like she had to do so because she was getting smoked. <laughs> Man, bro, hey. which is the story of the battle? Smoked. Yeah, Tato. Like, bro, right. stop it. 30. Dog walk. First 30 of the, the night. Like she was, I, I ain't gonna care. I didn't like nothing Lady J said. I'm not even I'm not even tripping. I don't nah, even hey, mean I, the I, matter. I, I get it. Tato. She was like Tato was and that's my first time seeing Tato. I like she was 
fire. She was cooking her. Right. Well, so it's like, like, like it's like it's, you want to do that, and just all you could do is really pull your titty out. Like I, I, yeah, I, I mean, she would have capitalized off of it more. She would have did it while she was rapping. Why would you do it for? Yeah. I get it. You're trying to distract your. Opponent. I mean, she kind of. I mean, she kind of helped. If you're she kind of. He her brand. He kinda um helped Tato by doing that for real because you already know uh, nah, it's gonna be I the talk. It's, it's the, it's nah. the talk right now. So when the battle drop, niggas is gonna watch that shit and be looking for that. But, That's okay, just gonna hit okay, so no, this, but this, but no, no, no. This, this is what I'm saying though. This is what I'm saying with that. Like, with this, why I go back to different fans. Like the like the people who are in the culture. They gonna like they they seeing us saying like, oh, she lost, she lost Tato thirty, blah blah blah. They so they're gonna want to watch it. But that one clip is going to go viral, and it's not going to. And nobody, and those other fans, just like the Tay Rock big body bitch shit went viral from all these other people that want battle rap fans. That clip is going to go viral outside of battle rap, and that's why I say that it's not going to capture what Tato did. I feel like it's going to be in the battle rap community, yes. But outside of it, no. People just gonna be watching that, and be like, "Oh, this girl pulled titties out doing a rap battle." They I mean, no, no, no. I mean, no, no. I get what you're saying, but yeah, if that clip go viral, I'm it pretty is. sure that shit gonna. I'm pretty sure that shit gonna translate to drawing people over to trying to find the battle from the clip. Like, man, let me. Absolutely. I mean, watch this, maybe so. Absolutely, it's, ain't no such thing as bad promotion. Yeah, I mean, no. It's, 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 I didn't say. It's, I didn't it's say all it gonna go bad. over real good. I'm just. I'm just saying, like, I feel uh, like... You're I, sounding like a titty hater right now. And no, I don't like that. you sounding like <laughs> a titty now, hater. Don't do that. That's not what I said. I said okay, that Okay, don't be a titty hater now. I, didn't, I, didn't, I never said that. I never said that, so don't even say that. I never said that. What I'm saying is how clips work. That's why I explained the scenario with the Tay Rock shit. I have people who are... They are my friends. They are not even... They don't watch Battle Rap at all laughing at that clip because that one clip went viral they don't even watch battle rap they don't even know nothing about battle rap they they're not going to go watch it either so i i use the example because people attention spans when clips like that come out it's just those clips going to drop and that's what people going to see they they you know see in the in our in the battle rap community of course people could go watch it we already been talking about it people be already seen the clip we already been talking about it Shit, already viral in, in that aspect, in the battle rap community aspect, but yeah, I, 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 I the, get battle, the battle, the battle is, you know, what I'm saying, I mean, she third either, so right, if right, you right, go right. Watch it just to see some titties. Yeah, I, don't, I would if I was right. Tato too, I wouldn't care because it's giving me views of people checking me out, and I'm cooking her. Yeah, um, I, I knew she, after the first round, I knew she didn't stand a chance, like, and she was gonna come every round like that because she wasn't saying nothing. I, right. I don't, I, 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 I was. Titties or not, I don't understand how she got on the car like that. Boy, that was terrible. Lady, Lady J got she two was rounds. that bad to me. Man, listen, man. That was an alley oop for Tato, man. They know, they know she got a bigger name than Tato and this shit. Tato just took her spot and like, went yeah, a fast. spot over her ass. That's all she needed. That's she all. That's what she. Good. That's what she, she good for in that case. She that a dog. Was, Tato is you know a dog, that, bro. That was that was terrible. So I, you got that one thirty. I know you got to have that one thirty. Yeah, that ain't no debating. I'm talking about that. Lady J got two rounds though. Yeah. Mm. Alvo did yeah, move the camera. Fact. It did make it did make him uncomfortable. He moved the camera. I can tell. Yeah, he that oh. motherfucker jerked to the right so fast. I'm like this nigga, man. <laughs> that nigga got scared, man. I fuck with Alvo though. Show off and trades. Man, don't 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 be biased now. Hell no, I ain't never did that. I'm about to say like I really want to call that shit a classic, bro. Cause the shit that them niggas was in there doing, like this nigga Trey say my name and then show rebuttal and rebuttal what he said about me and then and then show off bring the security guard out and then Trez rebuttal that and them niggas was going back and forth in that bitch. That's a classic to me, man. And I was standing right there like. They both did more than I thought, and everything went through to me. Like, that shit was a good battle. And it was way better than what motherfuckers thought it was going to be, too, before it happened. I absolutely agree and co-sign that. I, that battle yeah, that's was definitely way a classic, better than man. I thought it was going to be going into it. <clears throat> way better. Um, Hell yeah. Show was on one. Trez was on one. I'm not going to call it. 
I'm going to tell you, go to RedReadENT.com and get the VOD right now. And uh, to the show, I know we had, a, I know in our conversation beforehand, he had, he ever said he wanted Trez to like show up like that. So it worked out like, I feel like exactly how he wanted to work out. And yeah. it was a great battle. That was, that was battle of the night, hands down to me. That was good. It was Yeah, that's a fact. Them niggas you. definitely went crazy though. I definitely, definitely called. Like I just a, called out a classic for real. Show off more of like that rapper. It was like a rapper versus somebody just like just like Trez, like creative like that. Like Trez, not like hardcore rapper, but I couldn't really see Trez on a beat or nothing like that. But he's so creative when it comes to battle rap. Like it worked out to where that balance, that back and forth, was like. In the building, you couldn't follow, and everybody was people standing around. It was like, man, shit, the fans, how the fans won, we won in that battle. That shit was good. It was dope. Yeah, I call it a classic for sure. And you, did you see anything else? You say you saw uh, Rosenberg and clips. Yeah. Call out. <clears throat> um. I ain't gonna lie. When I was leaving out of there, I was I was I was saying clips two one, mm -hmm. and probably because of like he had the energy kind of towards the end and shit. But um, I heard people was giving it the froze though, like first two when they spent back on that motherfucker. So um, I want to watch it again too. But from what I remember feeling, I had clips two one. Facts. I would love and that's to. not because it's not because clips threw me in one of his schemes too. I ain't say that. I'm, I'm keeping it a thousand. <laughs> Pain, hey bro, hey yo, you. Pain remembers every time Pain got mentioned, and it was about five, six times. By yeah. five, six different. <laughs> listen, hey, that, hey, listen, hey, that's an accolade to me, kind of, because we started off in this shit as low, no names. And now a year and a half later, clips throwing me in schemes, Chef Trez throwing me in that 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 yeah, that's 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 something to me, you know what I mean? Cause yeah, they could have said anybody's name. I feel that that's, love. that's how I look at it though. That's love. I'm gonna say it one more time. I would love to see see you and Frozenberg go at it. That would be dope to me. I think that would be a great battle. I wanna see you get froze out of there. <laughs> I I got you. I would just say that. I hear you. I got you, Gary. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> it's time for Payne to move up on, on the card, you know, card position. And I would love to see. That would be dope. You know what I mean? Hey, listen, man. The universe works so crazy, bro. Y'all, you know I mean? Y'all, people, people gonna see some shit soon, bro. Okay. We ready for you. Um is there anything you like to like to put in there that we didn't bring up? Um, about the battle or just about yeah, what I got going that. on? Yeah, type go shit. All your all thoughts, man. You on a promo run? I want to know every wait, thought. Wait, wait! Okay. You didn't even go through all the battles. I'm not. He didn't see all the battles, so I'm not gonna yeah. go you through, didn't go all, through the all the battles that he said he saw though. And especially, um, I know you saw that main event. You talking about who? <laughs> I don't think he did. Did you did see Booker? No, um, yeah, I was in, I was in there, I was in there, I was in there for that too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, um, how was that? I gave that to uh Big K, bro, because well, yeah, Mook was kind of losing me in that <laughs> bitch, man, a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, you say, I just want to hear you say it. <laughs> no, I was, I see, I'm a nigga that listen, like I'm listening to niggas. And Mook was losing me though, low key. Like I'm like, damn, Mook, you was talking crazy like that in the face off, and you rapping like this, bro. Like you supposed to be on Cuz heels, Cuz. Like it was, it just felt, it didn't feel how he was talking in the face off. So y'all have Big K for yeah. sure. I feel like the face offs can like can curb your decisions sometimes. <laughs> you and listen, up because we know we know how we know how Mook easy it me. is to sway a lot of these fans. A, and a, a nigga, a nigga know he like when a nigga know he about to lose. Oh, he gonna turn up in that face off. I'm telling you, when he know he ain't got his shit ready, he gonna go crazy in the face off. 
I never, I never start my face off going. I be chilling. If y'all be, I knew boxing, he was gonna do that. <laughs> I knew when my all every time I do a face off, I literally be sitting there quiet and chilling, bro. And these niggas get to starting, and then I, then I get to turning up. But I don't come in the face off on bullshit like y'all. I mean, I, I, I be chilling, bro. If y'all watch my face offs, bro, he funny as hell. If y'all watch my face offs, bro, I be chilling, bro, for real. Y'all will see the y'all will see me get to the boiling point when the nigga get the sand too much little slick shit. Then y'all will see pain come out. Like, all right, man, fuck this nigga, man. Hold on, cuz. But like, yeah, I'll be chilling though for the most part, man. I don't plan my face-offs to be how they be. I really always be like, all right, this time I ain't gonna say shit. That's what I say before every face-off. I swear to God on my children. Watch me and Big Cannon face off. You're gonna see me sitting there completely quiet. They gonna be like, look at pain, quiet as fuck. In this face off, I, I was like, hey, this nigga weird. I ain't got no rap. Hey, I'm 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 chilling. And this nigga starts saying the stupid shit, and it's like, man, fuck it. I'm telling y'all, man, I be wanting to, I I want to not say nothing in my face off. These niggas be talking stupid though, man. Can't I can't contain myself when a nigga get to talking dumb and he that close to me? I oh, gotta you contain yourself pretty well, sir. Sir, you sat there hey, calm, as, as far I mean, as far as, with yeah. a middle finger up that you right. held up. He had that middle finger up for like fifteen minutes. <laughs> I mean, I mean, contain myself as far as me like not saying nothing at all. Like, if I wanted to not say nothing, I'm I'm, I'm gonna have to say something soon because these niggas be talking too stupid. So, yeah, that's what I meant though, as far as talking back type shit. <laughs> yeah, but hey, but that hey, I'm hearing that's what sell the tickets though, bro. Like y'all don't know how many people come up to me at these events. Like, man, I bought a ticket last night after the face off, nigga. I had to come. Like that should be real, bro. So niggas be buying tickets last minute and pulling up yeah. off the these face days, off. These, these days, last minute tickets is the is the thing because people want to make sure they can make it before they buy a ticket. Right. And right. Then it's like, the, like, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure. I, I, I was guessing that the people that be like that, they gotta be. Live there or something, or live close no, already. No. We met somebody a little telling We met somebody that drove from Detroit without a ticket. Yeah. They damn. They no, and and let and let's be clear. He was ready. They were battle rap fans. They were there for the Jill Scott concert. Found out about the the RBE. You know, like let's go to this RBE event first. They went to the RBE. They got that. Luckily, they got there in time. They got a ticket at the door. <laughs> Mm-hmm. They stayed for the RB event and then went to the Jill Scott. Exactly. Shout out uh, Jamel and his wife from Detroit. Yeah, dope, dope couple. Some people, we met dope some couple. People that no, that's everywhere. fire though. I ain't never yeah. heard that story. That's fire. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, came there for Jill Scott and her RBE was in town. Say, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing <laughs> we we done took like a what like six seven hour drive. We like damn, we done drove far. And they, they didn't throw me a phone. <laughs> Twelve hours. I'm like, oh, no, nah, yeah, that's what's up though, man. Yeah, but um, in there. that's what that's what make us feel appreciated. You know what I'm saying? We hear shit like that, like damn, man, they really. Some they really fuck with us though, like as a brand type shit. I love hearing that, man. But yeah, though, um, as far as um, like what I got going on before we get out of here, type shit. What I want people to know, um, off the top of my head, man, my single money is out right now. It dropped uh the top of March, I think, man. It's on iTunes, Apple Music. It's called Money. The shit is crazy. Y'all are watching my battle rounds. Y'all wouldn't even think I can make songs, bro. Like, yeah, it's really one of them. Strip club type club banger. Undeniable. It's called Money. I swear to God. That's out right now. iTunes, Apple Music, man. Um, I just won the Kendrick Lamar Award and the Hip Hop Fraternity Awards by Pippin Ken in Atlanta a couple weeks ago. I just brought my plaque home. You know what I mean? That shit is crazy. I'm in the Black Only Awards. It's going down on my birthday in Atlanta. My birthday, Atlanta August 26th. That's the day of the motherfucking event show. I'm nominated in there right now, Rising Star Award. So I'm, I, I hope y'all vote for the boy. I'll be tweeting this shit out. It's on my Facebook and all that. Blackonlyawards.com. Pain Rising Star Award. You shoot the email over with my name and that bitch. That's all you got to do. And you can vote every day. Um, Yeah, that ceremony is in August. So I'm in that. Um, like I said, man, y'all might see me in Cali, Philly, Alaska, nigga, Indiana coming up next. 
go everywhere. And the next major RBE card. Yeah, y'all gonna definitely see the bull pain in there. Um, yeah, my the movie I'm in, No Love, that's coming out 2023 this year. So y'all just keep an eye out for that, man. Yeah. My first movie I ever did, I played myself. I got two scenes, the bar scene and the mansion masquerade party scene. I'm the host in the party, the bull. Like, yeah, I'm really on that. Come on, yeah, man. You look like, like a two reactor, man. Don't do that, bro. Listen. <laughs> Come on, man. Listen, hey. If I, if I get my movies on Tubi, nigga, get them Tubi checks, they paying crazy, nigga. Facts. <laughs> hey, but look, I, look, I would not know. Hey, hey. hey, they paying, bro. Real shit. But no, though, that's the first movie I've been in, man. It's called No Love. It's shot by Movie Mail and Verse Cheers, man. I played myself in that motherfucker. I definitely got speaking roles and all that. Two scenes. You know what I'm saying? But that's coming out this year. Uh, Pain versus Bad News is out right now. RBE, man, one of the battles, one of the battles of the fucking night. That's the battle that holds the one of the bar of the year contenders. You know what I mean? That battle. Biggest moments. Highlight round of the night. All type of shit, man. Pain versus Bad News is out right now. We already cracked 100K. We working on 120. Yeah, like, we doing that, bro. Pain versus The Bull. Like I said, y'all figure his name out. That's about to drop soon. <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> and it's on redbreedent.com right now. <laughs> video man, on demand. Go get that. Go get the video. 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 Go get Kind of get on that drama, but I'd be interested. No, in I, look, this me, this me it. talking to, this me really talking to the it. people. You feel me? No, I know. I, yeah, no, look, I ain't talk about look, you. The, look, the rabbit hole to, podcast do don't got nothing to, to do with Payne's thoughts, y'all. <laughs> Leave them alone. But look though, pain, pain versus bad news. Damn, you see how they do me? Cause loud. <laughs> damn, cause yeah, pain versus bad news out right now. Pain versus the bull dropping soon. Keep your eyes out for pain. That's how I'm going to end it. Twitter at Pain1925. Instagram at RBE Pain1925, man. It's up. Subscribe Salute, man. RBE. We'll Always great you. having you, bro. Definitely. Likewise, Always. man. I appreciate y'all for sure. Yeah, hey. definitely. We definitely enjoy seeing you in the building and like lead, everything leading up to you. We appreciate you. For sure. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all be safe. You too, bro. You too, All right. too. So now, just you going through the rest of the recaps. <laughs> uh, I mean, we can do a recap real quick, you know what I mean? But I'm going to be very cut and dry because I felt most of it was eh. What, the ones that it was, it was some about? bodies. It was some bodies. But no, nah, no, nah, it was some, yeah, it was some debatable. It was like three, two or three debatable. I saw all the battles that said uh, QB and Robin Ryan's, but I didn't want to yeah, see it. I didn't want to see it. Because I knew, I, and I heard that she, that Basically, QB smoked. I wasn't even expecting her to be QB at all. I didn't give a fuck that. Hey, hey, a hey, Jordan Michael in the comments. I, I don't know who you are. Yeah, I, I just don't think that's your real name. Way. You could yeah. be a better rapper. I don't know you. I would add you, but but brother show is right, no. man. You got to do more work. You got to do more work to uh, get no, added to the live. No knowledge. I just blocked him, whoever it is. I just blocked him, like, seriously. So I don't Why know are you blocking Jordan, Michael? I don't know, because I don't know, because you're being disrespectful in my fucking inbox, and I don't know who it is. Ah. Oh, go ahead and get off the fucking, I don't know who you are, or being funny, or whatever, but get the fuck off the fucking podcast now. I'm good. I'm good on that. Yeah, you, <laughs> you have met Savage Bull, Jordan, Michael. Um yeah. Hey, don't don't come in my inbox though, bro. But I we gonna we'll we'll wrap we'll talk till you get to know you a little bit more. Keep coming back, bro. Don't please don't let that come back. I want to know who you are. You, I didn't you, tell you talking you spicy in the comments. I didn't the, tell you to do. I told you spicy. to watch the podcast. He talking about he can make our podcast famous. It's about being funny. Like I don't know. I got time. I didn't tell you to join <laughs> shit. I told you to fucking hey don't to be the podcast. With the don't argue with me. Ain't no damn fans. I probably already know who the fuck it is. We playing. appreciate you showing up, Jordan Michael. You feel What's me? What's up, show off? Let me on a lighter note. Appreciate you, show <laughs> off. <laughs> we appreciate you tuning in. Who the hell is show off? I don't know no show off. <laughs> I don't do show off. Who is show off? Don't do show off. 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 Don't do
Don't do the show up like that. You gonna come on next show while we we, we gonna we gonna schedule all these. I definitely, need everybody definitely. on. So, definitely. Yeah. Salute to you with the battle of the night. I love um, it. I don't know. I feel like uh that it, we didn't we didn't mention and I we'll get to it later. Definitely next week. Um, when one of them come on, but I feel like we didn't mention Sniper and J Slash, so yes, I want to shout out Sniper and J Slash. Sniper is definitely gonna be on next week. Yeah, definitely. We're gonna, we're gonna schedule. I already, um, I already talked to him, so salute to Sniper. Uh, I told, yeah. I told Sniper he was gonna get thirty. Um, yeah, we was talking big shit. We kind of talking uh, big shit to Sniper. <laughs> that don't that's mean that don't mean J Slash like didn't me. beat you, Sniper. That ain't that's what why I'm I don't saying. like, like being biased, though, knowledge. I let you talk me into being biased. You rub it off of me. You're I'm, supposed to be biased. Why would? Why should you ignore your I, biases? When that's I vital information in your brain it's that may help you make a decision. I used to not be biased until I, I got over here with y'all. No, you have always been biased. You no, have, I have not. You choose. I, listen, you have you choose to ignore your bias. <laughs> I have yeah. no so everyone is biased. You just choose to ignore when you give your opinion to people, you choose to omit your bias. I feel like that's false information. That's not false information. That's false trying information. To be, you're giving you're me your to... opinion and then you trying to omit your bias. I need to know that information. No, what? No, it's that's important. Not how it works. Now, I'm about I'm about to hit you with hit you with a jewel right quick. One of the first things people say. When they when they uh when they giving their opinion is I don't even know dude and I I got him two one well yeah you don't you you saying you don't know dude because that's an important piece of information it builds your case I don't know dude and I'm going for him which means if you did know dude <laughs> but it don't work you should bring you know that up dude. I know dude he fired he won <laughs> when you know I want to know. But when you know both dudes, you can't use that. I don't know both dudes in this situation, so I can. You you don't know both dudes in this situation, so you can be biased. Be biased. You can't really be biased when you only you know when you only know one person. Well, yeah, you can't be biased in your person. Yeah, you know what I'm God. saying. <laughs> we just made who we knew who we knew more. <laughs> That's all it is. We made who we was more familiar with. We're not even gonna do that. We're not even gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, if you bias, use your bias in your opinion, man. I know I was talking to a sniper, and somebody else came. Somebody was talking to him, and he was talking about the, uh, and then it was like, uh, good, good to your head. Who wore a show off a trip? <laughs> it was like, damn, good to your head. You gotta have to quit. You can't. <laughs> So you go automatically be biased because you can think about the first person you fuck with. Like that was that was it. Like, and that's what how it went. That's how the combo went. Like, what do you do? So good to your head, sniper and slash. You did already. <laughs> See, and then that's that's the, that's the that's the beauty. Of, that's the beauty of my bias. Like the beauty of my bias, it lets me choose. I can ignore hypotheticals like that because there ain't no gun to my head. Obviously, if <laughs> no, I had a gun no. to my head, I would just gun name to, something. Gun to you. See, right, that's, that's not accurate head. information. Gun to your head, gun you could just name head. anything. Gonna, just I'm trying to get the gun out from off my head. That don't mean you're getting accurate information. But it's gonna talk about get the fuck. I didn't block you from. I blocked you for a reason. But Bruh. you could keep comments. Yeah, leave. We can do nothing but give us more comments. What are you doing? All right, so um, that shit is annoying. All right, so uh, obviously I I'm not gonna pick J Slash and Sniper right now. I will do it when Sniper comes on. Yeah, we'll do it. Stay tuned. Um, Also, but I just I just I just want y'all to I just want to get back on this this move first, bit. Okay, cause y'all was slipping. Okay, bro. I don't know why. Who is sleeping okay? Y'all was. Well, Ooh. Scoot ain't on here because Scoot definitely was. You 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 switched up when we had the actual podcast, but Who Scoot definitely up? was. Who switched up? Nobody switched Scoot, up. Bruh, y'all had y'all, bruh, y'all knew. 
Y'all do. I go okay. Well, switch up may be the wrong term, but no, it's not. Maybe had, it is the wrong. No, but y'all, y'all. Had, <laughs> I gave my opinion on this very show. I said no. I got moved, but if the Big K that Battle A War show up, it's gonna be Big K thirty. I yeah, said that. You. You said on that this on, the po- on the podcast. I right? said it. This, but you still did not say that beforehand. I, so I said it, but I didn't say it. Make you it make it make sense. First. Yeah, I'm, I'm make, make it, it make sense. sense. I'm and on no, the private, podcast no, no, to no, give no, my no, opinion. No, uh-uh, no, we're not talking about the podcast. My podcast. Why would we not talk about the podcast on uh, the podcast? That doesn't no, make sense. No, don't do it like that. Don't do What do you like mean? That. You're doing it to yourself. No, because what do you I mean? Said, because I my opinion was. What you, no, I will say no, it again. Why you cutting me out? Why you cutting me out? I got mook. If Big K that Battle A War show up, it's gonna be Big K thirty. But that, official that, opinion, stamp. Okay, I said that. Right. Your said official it. opinion on the podcast, but you did not That's say that. Official opinion, <laughs> period. That was my <laughs> official opinion. No, Point of information. <laughs> Point of order. <laughs> what is your point of order, ma'am? The rabbit hole podcast.